In preparation for user research, create a user story document that includes all known user stories. The goal is to make this document as complete as possible and validate it. One very productive way to research user stories is to interview potential or existing users. Another method is observation. The observation method is useful when there is a real live context where the user achieves these goals. With the understanding of user stories and the broader requirements, create use case documentation. To do this, you can start with a list of goals and desired outcomes. Then for each, note the related action and resulting flow of experience that leads to the goal. This document is the written form of the wireframes that will need to be created. Usability testing is another important part of researching user needs, but until there is a basic proposed design in the form at the minimum of a wireframed prototype, no testing can be done. But in this planning phase, we go as far as we can to understand the user's needs and to look at how we can make the app great. So, in addition to user stories, what are some of the other types of user data that we can gather during this planning phase? In considering the user stories and following up with questions, we can aim to determine what goal is most important to the user. We can consider what we know to determine what we think is the first action the user would like to take. We can consider the goals and use cases and see if it's possible to simplify the processes. And we can deduce what we think are the common scenarios of where, when, and how the app will be used. With all this in mind, we can begin to develop a user experience strategy. In preparation for designing the information architecture, the use cases can be prioritized and categorized. It's through this process that we can begin to identify which navigation model is most appropriate to determine where the experience is hierarchical, linear, or sequential, as well as if, where, and how certain use cases and processes should be grouped, or what sort of actions should be accessible persistently from anywhere in the application. And what is the scheme for categorizing? Is it by topic or metaphor? Making these considerations is preparing for how we'll organize the application in the wireframing process.